This tutorial is going to explain how to color an object with Pantone colors as well as how to use the color styles feature to quickly change the colors in a design. So first off I have a piece of artwork that I already know is going to work properly and I've already applied a Pantone black to the black part of the design. The first thing you want to do when we're coloring is you're going to want to make sure the object's ungrouped. So you're going to select the object and you're going to just make sure you click the ungroup button here to make sure it's ungrouped so you can cl click on each separate piece. Next thing you want to make sure that you have the Pantone color palette up on your screen. So you're going to go to Window, Color Palettes, go to Color Palette Browser. You're going to make sure you expand Fix Palettes and then expand previous version palettes and then check the very bottom one Pantone Matching System Corel A. When you check it, it should pop up on the bottom of your screen or on the side. You can go ahead and X this out and this should stay up here from now on whenever you open Corel. And notice how these colors have little white boxes in the corners of them. That signifies that they're Pantone colors. It also signifies that when you go to print your separations that it will work properly which I'll explain later. So now that we have our Pantone palette up, we're going to start coloring this guy. So I'm going to select an object, like say part of his helmet here. I'm going to go ahead and select a color I want, like say red. And I can do that for each individual piece by selecting it and selecting the color. But I think the quicker way to do it is to hold down shift on your keyboard and then right click and drag from the area of color to the area that you want to be that color and let go. So again that's shift, hold down shift, right click and drag from the red to the area that you want red. Shift, right click and drag and let go and you can quickly go through here and color all the pieces that need to be red. Let's add a couple other colors to him. Let's go ahead and use a gray. And I'm just going to copy that color again using shift, right click and drag. Or I can drag from the color to the area that I want to be that color. It's really up to you. I'm going to make this bat brown. Let's throw this brown in his eyes. So in just a couple minutes we had colored this design how we liked it. Now if you go to File, Print, since we used all Pantone colors in this design, go ahead and click on your Separations tab, click Print Separations, you'll see that there's only Pantone colors down here. And if you go to Print Preview, you'll see it's going to print a black printout for each one of your separations. So you can use those to burn directly onto your screens. Now let me throw something in here just so you can see the difference if I have two squares in here that I use just simple Corel colors on and if I go to print, click on separations, check print separations, now I have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black in here. So if you ever see CMYK in here, you know that you haven't gotten every single piece in your design into a Pantone color. So I'm going to cancel that, I'm going to delete these, and now again if you go in here it's just got your Pantone colors. So this is all fine and dandy. Say another client comes along, they want the same artwork but they want different colors. You could go in here and recolor it all by hand, which takes some time, 
or since it's already colored nicely you can go to tools color styles and then you're going to hit control A on your keyboard to select all or you can just double click on your pick tool to select everything and then you're just going to click and drag your whole design over to here and let go and as you can see it pulled all the colors out of the design and put them in this nice little order here so say the new customer wants blue on the jersey well instead of clicking on every single red piece and changing the color we can just click on the Pantone 485 red here we can right click on the box hit edit color it's going to bring up our color palette we can go in here and select a nice Pantone blue hit OK and it changes all the red in the design to that blue again I'll show you that again with the gray you can right click on the gray box hit edit color and then you can choose like say a darker gray hit OK changes all of them in the design and you can click this out when you're done if you go to file print since we use Pantone colors again we only have the four colors in here but now instead of red and light gray we have a blue and a dark gray it's a pretty quick way to play with colors